are Locked On Patriots, your daily New England Patriots podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello to all of you, Foxborough faithful, and thank you once again for making Locked On Patriots a daily of your New England Patriots coverage and also your first listen every day. Remember, Locked On Patriots is free and available on all platforms, including YouTube. So smash that subscribe button, download, subscribe to follow Locked On Patriots wherever you get your podcasts. Happy New Year to all of you in Patriots Nation. 2023 is upon us, and in the calendar year, your New England Patriots are one and oh, but the job is not done yet, folks. And here to join me today on this Monday episode of Locked On Patriots is the man who Mondays were created for here on Locked On Patriots, the only person with his very own branded hashtag. That's right, folks. It's hashtag Locked On Murph Monday. Thomas Murphy, the legend himself of E2GSports.com, joins me today. Thank you for joining me in friendship. Thank you for coming to me here today, Don Murph. See this? See this smile? Mm-hmm. That's, it hasn't left my face. My my wife thinks I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole, but we are here to discuss the New England Patriots victory over the Miami Dolphins on Sunday at Gillette Stadium. But first, folks, please remember that today's episode brought to you by Ultimate Football GM. Ever dreamed of becoming an NFL GM and managing your NFL football franchise? Well, folks, judging by a lot of what we see on social media, I can tell a lot of you love to fantasize about that. This game is definitely for you. To download the game, just visit ultimate-gm.com or look it up on the app stores. Our listeners get a 100% free boost to their franchise when using the promo code LOCKEDON. That's all caps. Get in the game with Ultimate Football GM. Murph, it's always a pleasure to welcome you here on Locked On Patriots. You are our first guest in 2023. You were our ultimate guest in 2022. (laughs) And the New England Patriots are definitely riding the wave of victory, folks. That's right. You know, if you'd say that the New England Patriots are still in the playoff hunt, Murph, you know, a lot of people look at you and go, say what? You know, surely you can't be serious. Well, Dr. Rumack would tell you, yes, I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Call me the Shirley. Patriots definitely are in the thick of a playoff race right now. National narrative had these guys being written off. Uh, the local fringe uh, did not believe that this team right. could possibly win a game. Subpar coaching staff, a trash quarterback. Not my words, others' words, folks. Right. But here the Patriots are, 8-8, eight and eight, and on the precipice of possibly making the playoffs. Mac Jones, 20 of 33, 203 passing yards. Two touchdowns, one to Jacoby Myers, one to Ty- Tyquan Thornton. Should have been two. But, of course, eh, really should have been mm. two. But you look at it now, Kyle Duggar intercepting Teddy Bridgewater. Oh. Once again, the catalyst brings the Patriots to a victory, a 23-21 victory over the Miami Dolphins at Gillette Stadium on New Year's Day. So, Murph, let's get right into it. We're riding the era of good feelings in Foxborough. What went right in this game for the Pats? How did they pull this one off, and how did they get the victory against the Dolphins on Sunday? They, well, they turned the keys. That's what they did. They read the keys, and they turned them. Um, we saw a lot of, uh, of um, uh, defense that, that, that I called for over, over the last week. Uh, it, was, it was basically a uh, – What's the word I'm looking for? An homage to to uh, to um, nickels, dimes, and quarters. It, it, we we had we, we saw basically nothing but those three coverages, and it it, it was it was really fantastic. It, the the way that they they got back, they a lot of people said that that you've got to go man against this team, and and people were saying early in the in <clears throat> during the contest that Bridgewater was was tearing up their coverage. But that was that was the game plan, folks, was mm. to, to to sit back and 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 allow them the, the short intermediate throws 
eliminate any big chunk plays that that had beaten the Patriots in the past, and it worked to perfection. It it really did. Zone worked to perfection, and that's what we wanted, and uh, that's what I called for. That's what they thought was the best uh, idea, and you know things went right. Things went right all the way down the line, um, from uh, eliminating stupid penalties. There were a couple. But not as many as as normal. Definitely not as many as uh, as Miami made in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. They won the turnover battle. That was f- that was phenomenal. Once again, if if you win the turnover battle, it's there's a ninety percent chance that you're going to win the game. And they won the turnover battle in a big way this this week. Yeah, they did without any question. And I'm glad that you mentioned the game planning because I thought that really was the difference maker in the New England Patriots victory over the Dolphins this time around, as opposed to what we've seen before. They've really made a concerted effort to take away the big play. And right. when you're game planning against guys like Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill, it's not an easy thing to do, folks. These guys are very well versed in providing the big play, and they're good. They're as good as anybody in the league at being able to provide it. But I love the Patriots' uh, enactment of the four safety packages. I think that really, right. really made a difference. Um, not just Kyle Duggar, who we're going to get into in a, in a few moments, who I thought was phenomenal in this right. game. Uh, but Jabril Peppers, Adrian Phillips, Devin McCourty, you want to give them a lot of credit, too. Um, Phillips and uh, Peppers, I thought, made plays when they needed to. Right. Shifting between the safety position, playing hybrid linebacker at a time. Devin is still the elder statesman back there. Um, It's still mind-boggling that we may have seen him for the final time on a Gillette Stadium field. I want to think about that right now because I am as fond of Devin as anybody I've ever covered in this league. He and Matthew Slater both, uh, when I think of those two. uh, But conversation for another day, folks. We're going to keep things positive here on Locked On Patriots. talk about that in June. Absolutely. When, when we have to, um, but I think you hit the nail right on the head. My friend, the game plan was keep the Miami dolphins from creating long sustained drives. They held Hill and Waddle combined seven catches, zero touchdowns. When you do that, you control the line of scrimmage. You control the tempo of the game. That's why the Patriots ended up on the, on the uh, other positive side of this. Yeah. Let's talk, let's talk about Christian Barmore for, for a moment. Um, Absolutely. This man is, is you could probably say it's been a lost season for him, his sophomore year, Mm. the amount of time that he's, that he spent on the shelf, but what he was able to do today, what he's been able to do since he's been back on the field has been nothing short of phenomenal. And you can see it all across the, uh, the defensive line with the play of everybody else being able to, uh, know that they're going to get one-on-one matchups every single time because at least two people are going to be on Christian Barmore. And he, he, he was stuffing the run today. He had a quarterback sack on a fantastic blow up, up the middle, just a bull rush that, that, you know, I, I'm going to see in my sleep tonight. Um, welcome back, Christian. Thank you very much for being the man that you are. Yeah. And he's got a mean little waddle on him, doesn't he? Really? I think (laughs) (laughs) only a college teammate can get away with that folks. There's a reason why Christian was able to get away with that. Uh, And it's not, uh, uh, although it is making the rounds on social media, I got to be honest with you. It's part of me that I am smiling. Yeah. The part of me is smiling a little bit every time I see that. But yeah, when you talk about a guy that really can absorb the double team, the way Christian does, and then like you said, put out, not just the absorption, of pressure, right. but also be able to apply it as well. Uh, you're dealing with a special player and there's no question about it. And it facilitates so much yep. for this team, for guys like Matthew Judon, Josh Uche to break free, right. make tackles, get after the quarterback, play freely. And it allows the secondary to be able to take some of the pressure off. Um, very briefly, Murph, uh, the secondary was a big concern of a lot of people going right. in. It was a concern of mine. Jalen Mills wasn't active in this game. Sean Wade wasn't active in this game. I right. don't know what that says about him. But that's a healthy scratch. That could be a concern down the line. But uh, Quandre Mosley and Tay Hayes, especially Tay Hayes, really impressed yeah. by him coming in. Folks, this is a kid that just joined the team. I would say kid, but, you know, the Tuesday. veteran really. Tuesday. And he comes in, signs to the 53-man roster. Made a couple of big plays out there today. I was impressed by what I saw from Ted. So was I. He, he was he was on page with everything that they asked him to do. Um, I didn't see him looking around trying to uh, to check to see where he was supposed to be. Often you'll get that in the huddle. You'll get a check, check, and and somebody will give you a heads up. And I'm sure that happened. But he didn't look lost out there at all. 
No, he didn't. And that is something that does speak very well of guys that come through this system that can't necessarily grasp it, not just on the offensive right. side of the ball as well. This is a complex defense to be able to learn. The Patriots obviously saw something in him. Don't forget, he returned an interception for a touchdown in the preseason right. when he was with Carolina. Bill Belichick takes notes on all of yep. his folks. Saw something in Tay Hayes. He, like, he likes guys that play well against them. He's, he's yeah. done this in the past and he'll do yep. it in the future. Uh, and there is a future, people. He's he's not going anywhere. Please Absolutely. Stop. And you know, with uh, with Bill Belichick, when you can't, he plays the, what, if you can't beat him, join him game right. better than anyone else in the league. So smiles in New England on Tuesday, Monday morning, whenever you're listening to this, folks, hopefully you're listening to it as your first listen on Monday yeah. morning. But at the same time, there is still another game looming on Sunday, January the 8th. Not going to get into that just yet, but no. there are some concerns on what we saw on the field and whether or not those could linger into the Patriots' next matchup. Murph and I are going to talk about some of those in just a moment when this episode of the Locked On Patriots podcast continues. But first, folks, I don't know about you, Murph. It's amazing, but I am so geeked out by our new partner here on Locked On Patriots, sponsor of today's episode, the mobile game, Ultimate Football GM. Yep. If you've ever dreamed of being an NFL GM and managing your football franchise, folks, your dream can come true. This game is definitely for you. You can manage every strategic aspect of your team, play through the season, and lead your team to glory. You're responsible for hiring the right coaches and coordinators. I know a lot of you out in New England would love to have that job right now. You're responsible for trading players, making draft picks, navigating your franchise through free agency and the draft and all the ups and downs of a season. All this in a challenging and realistic game world. Ultimate Football GM is a completely free and playable game offline as well, so you can play on the go as you want when you want to. Locked on Patriots listeners, listen up. You get a 100% free boost to the franchise when using the promo code LOCKED ON. That's LOCKED ON in all caps. Find that in the game store. That's LOCKED ON in all caps. So make sure to check it out today. To download the game, visit ultimate gm.com or look it up on the app stores. That's ultimate gm.com, ultimate football GM. Start your dynasty today. Hell yeah. <laughs> Patriots fans, the legendary Count of Murphy Fisto himself is not only kicking off the week in style, he's kicking off 2023 in style. Joining us today on hashtag Locked On Murph Monday, Thomas Murphy of E2GSports.com. Murph riding the wave of the Patriots' victory over Miami Dolphins 23-21. to Been a little bit since we had a victory Monday here on Locked On Patriots, but if we're being fair, the Patriots put out a nice effort. There were... Deserve the win. Yeah. No one's saying they didn't. Nope. But there are still concerns about this team. Uh, and there are still things that make me scratch my head. Like, how can you have someone run into the punter yet again out there? Uh, could have been a lot worse for the New England Patriots on that. That's one of my pet peeves. But I don't want to get you monster mad on this Monday because we're in a good mood. But mm. I have to get your wisdom and counsel on some of the things you may have seen out there on Sunday that might be concerning you heading into right. this week 18 matchup coming up with the Buffalo Bills. Once again, you, you hit it right on the head. Um, we get uh, Miami into fourth and six. They were thinking about going for it on fourth and one. What was it? Four or five plays on fourth and one or fourth and mm -hmm. five and six yeah. that, that we had to go through right there. Okay. That tires the defense out. It really does. Never mind the stupidity that 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 led to six points on for the Miami Dolphins. That that I just can't. I can't fathom. How can you run into a kicker there? How can you run into a kicker there? That's just ridiculous. That goes on coaching. That goes on the player. It goes on everybody involved. Um, you you have to let him know that that we are not looking to block a kick right here. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to end up with decent field. Uh, a decent starting field position. Um, get back and block. Okay, that that that's that's number one. Um, number two is in. I hate to do it, but Michael Onwayu had a terrible game. Mm -hmm. um, you know the the offensive interior uh, line did did not hold up really well. Uh, Christian Wilkins on it was was in Max face all. Onwayu got beat on fourth down. 
uh, in the fourth quarter, which made things a tad bit squirrely near the end. It was he did not have a good he did not have a good game at all. And then, you know, just to keep up with the uh, the special teams play, par 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 lay 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 par 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 what par. Parley, that's it. Parley. That's the one. Uh, Paul I. That's the one. That's the one. Paul I. Um, it, you, you can't. You, I'm 55 years old, and I can kick better with either leg, with either leg. Okay, and then the the one kick that he finally gets off, there's there's nobody down at the goal line to down the ball. Why? Because nobody thought he could kick the ball that far. Okay, there there were issues today. There were definite issues. There were issues on the offensive line. Um, Brown once again did not have a very good game. Like I said, on way you did not have a very good game, uh, and and it showed. Mac Mac didn't have the time that he needed to uh, scan the field completely on every single day, and it led to Max problems in the second and third quarter. I thought he came out and he played really well in the first and they closed it out well in the fourth, but right there in the middle, there were problems. And the, the offensive line, once again, was the reason for those problems. Yeah. I took the words right out of my mouth and I'm glad that you did that. Um, obviously, you know, Mac 66.5 completion percentage now on the year. Uh, yeah. Really, if you think about it and uh, you know, the combination, I, I'm sorry, the combination between this year and last year when it, he completed over 60% of his passes on Sunday. So when you look at what he's doing and um, the abilities that he's showing to right the wrongs that he creates a lot of times, it does give you some optimism going into the next game. But if he's not going to be getting the protection or there's going to be breakdowns right. along the offensive line, it's going to continue to Or you can't run the ball. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and the Patriots could not run the ball today. Yeah. There, there were there were several little breakout runs for six yards, eight yards here and there, mm-hmm. but uh, for the most part, they could not run the ball up the middle, and that that can't that can't happen next week. No, it can't. Uh, that's a big time concern, especially heading into Buffalo. You don't know what kind of weather it's going to be like mm-hmm. up in Western New York. Uh, the winds can be forgiving. The snow can be forgiving, uh, unforgiving, I should say, folks. Sorry about that. But in any case, uh, it does uh, give you a uh, pause when you look at uh, especially how this team relies on the run to try to help right. spark some of the play action that you see when they had a couple of good runs early. You saw Mac Jones hit Hunter Henry. You saw him yep. be able to, uh, you know, to find guys off of play action. For a couple of times where you look at play action on third and one, that was a little bit yeah. of a surprise to me. Uh, but, it, you know, you know that was Matt trying, here, right? yeah. Matt's trying to overcompensate for a lot of the, the garbage, the, you know, the criticism that he's gotten, that he's, yeah. he's too predictable. Mm-hmm. Um, you you, you want to get away from that? Stop throwing screen passes, please. Mm-hmm. Stop. Mm-hmm. Just stop. Nobody know. Everybody on the planet knows it's coming. Everyone, yeah. <sighs> really. I mean, you're you're right on the money. I was in a great and- mood. <laughs> <laughs> See, I brought the mood down here on Locked On Patriots, folks, but that's okay. We're going to perk up in, in just a moment, but it is uh, a little disheartening when you think of uh, um, a weakness of this team, and you mentioned special teams. It's just, it doesn't seem like it belongs in the conversation with a Bill Belichick right. coach team, but yet here we are, and I think far too many of these are happening. Uh, everybody talks about the offensive coaching staff uh, in the off season. Patriots have got some work to do on the special right. team side. And I like Cam Atchard. I think that he's giving it everything he has. Right. But there needs to be uh, maybe another voice in that room, at, at the very least, uh, that needs to be able to prepare these guys to go into battle because they really look lost at times. And that's a concern because special teams is such an important part of what these guys do, especially if, dare I say it, Murph, especially if, Matthew Slater is not going to be walking back through right. those doors next year. It's a, it's an if, folks. That's not yeah. a prediction. That's just a speculation. Matthew himself said it after the game that it is a possibility. So yeah. you need to be able to shore that up. You need to have guys in there that are savvy and that know their role. Right now, with the exception of Matthew, right. a lot of these guys look like they're really lost out there. Huh. Some budding talent. I love Schooler, but it's right. really it's it's tough right but now. You, you can just go to the fourth quarter when the Patriots could have taken a. a uh, another three points and and put them up on the board and they decided to go for it. I think Bill was worried that that kick might have gotten blocked and taken back the other way. It, it was it was it's very unbill like to to turn down points and to go for things. 
Yeah. You it know? really is. Yeah. You, you very, very seldom, if ever, see that from Bill Belichick. So something that, uh, you know, will continue to, uh, uh, to be a part of, of this team and something that will continue to be a concern. But ultimately, New England Patriots are showing a little bit more positive than negative right now, and it's giving a lot of people something to be optimistic about as they march toward a matchup in Western New York on Sunday, January 8th with the Buffalo Bills. That will mean something, folks. The Kansas City Chiefs victory over the Denver Broncos on Sunday ensures that the Bills have to win in order to try to secure that number one seed, and they're going to be having their A-team out there. It's the best on best, and that's exactly the way Bill Belichick and the Patriots want it. We know that's how... Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills want it. Should be a fun one coming up this weekend. But we're not ready to take our leave from this one yet, Marv. We're having too much fun at the Dolphins' expense, and we're having too much fun in the new calendar year. Time to hand out a pair of game balls, and that's exactly what we're going to do, folks. When this episode of the Locked On Patriots podcast continues, Murph and I hand out our game balls for the Week 17 performance and the Pats' victory over the Dolphins. But first... If you're looking for a delicious treat, but don't want all of the fat and calories, you've got to try a Built Bar. We just got through the holidays. I know my goal is to eat a little healthier this year. And if you're like me and you want to eat healthier, but you don't want to compromise the taste, then I have got the thing for you. You've got to try Built. With Built, healthy is actually tasty. Seriously, they're really so delicious. You're going to think that they're so good for you, but you're not going to realize it because they taste so good. They're perfect for your New Year's resolution. What makes Built so good is, well, for starters, they're all covered in 100% real chocolate. That's right, folks, real chocolate. Mm -hmm. They come in unbelievably flavor, unbelievably great flavors like churro, peanut butter brownie, coconut almond, just to name a few, my personal favorites. I'm not sure how Built does it, but these bars... Tastes like a candy bar while maintaining amazing macros. That's what's even better. They're healthy. They're only 130 calories, 4 grams of sugar, and a whopping 17 grams of protein. You don't need to wait around to get a box. For years, we've been talking about ordering your Built Bars at Built.com. Well, now you can get them at your local Walmart and Sam's Club. That's right. Head to your nearest Walmart today. Walk to the pharmacy section. Grab yourself a box of Built Bars. You can pick up a 4-bar box of cookies and cream double chocolate, coconut puffs, you name it, they've got it. If you're close to a Sam's Club, run in and grab a 13-bar box with our hit flavors, brownie batter, and churro. You can thank me later, definitely, Built.com or your local Walmart or Sam's Club to enjoy the great products at Built. Patriots fans, the legendary Thomas Murphy is here helping me break down the Patriots' 23-21 victory over the Miami Dolphins in Week 17. It's hashtag Locked On Murph Monday. It's Victory Monday. And in that vein, my friend, it's time to hand out a pair of game balls. I'm not going to steal your thunder. I'm not going to go on and on. Murph, what do you say on this one? Who gets your game ball for a standout performance in Week 17? Kyle Duggar. The second time in three games, a, a dynamic, a, a, an unbelievable pick six. Um, this one, this one was just, you know, uh, extraordinary. Uh, he he's been everything to this defense. After the game, um, uh, Matthew Judon came out and said that, you know, you're going to have to just hand him a blank check. And I agree. This kid has been the MVP of the defense over, uh, say the the past four or five games. And uh, there's there's not enough game balls to give this kid right now. He he mm-hmm. changed the momentum of the game when things were were dragging today. Uh, he picked up the entire uh, crowd and the bench and and willed them to victory. So that's my game ball. I don't know how anyone can argue with that. Uh, Kyle Duggar, without question, I think the standout performer in this game. Third defensive touchdown of the season. First Patriot since 1970. To accomplish that feat, New England's seventh defensive touchdown, that sets a franchise record. Yep. It's the first time a team has done seven defensive touchdowns in a season since uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars did it in 2019. And uh, wow. that uh, that worked out, uh, you know, halfway, uh, half, well, yeah. I don't want to say it worked out great, but they had a pretty good season that year. Okay so, for, you know, it worked, worked out okay, okay for the Patriots. For, it did work out okay for the New England Patriots. So, um, again, mm-hmm. I think just, you know, that's that turnaround that the Patriots always desperately seem to need. Duggar is right in the middle of it. Yep. It's this again, not happenstance, folks. That's by design. No. 
Uh, tremendous, tremendous game for him. So Murph awards his game ball to Kyle Duggar. I have no argument, but I'm going to give a little love to the rookie. I think he deserves a little bit of credit for the job that he did on the offensive side of the ball. I'm talking about Tyquan Thornton. It may have taken the turn of the calendar year, my friend, for Mac Maybe. Jones and Tyquan Thornton to finally show that budding relationship. But these two could be fun to watch in the future. I really loved what I saw, the connection between them. Uh, Mac showing a lot of faith in Tyquan, taking a yep. couple of deep shots. There's still rookie growing pains. Look, Mac is still going through growing pains. Yeah. I mean, Mac did not have a perfect game today, or I should say on Sunday, by any stretch of the imagination. But Thornton, two receptions of more than 20 yards, 24-yard pass in the first quarter. Yep. I think that was his best catch, by the way, even more so than yeah. the touchdown that he grabbed. Uh, and a team that really hasn't been known for its deep ball prowess this year. Right. I thought uh, Mac and Taekwon showed what they can do when they finally get on the same page. And with a little bit of work in the offseason, these two could really, really uh, show something special. Uh, right. Taekwon hauling in his two longest receptions of his career so far. Previous best was a 21-yarder at Cleveland on October 16th. So all in all, Taekwon finishes with three catches, team leading 60 yards receiving. And the offensive catalyst, I think, in New yeah. England's offensive awakening against the Dolphins. So Little while I have no from two yep. touchdowns today. Well, while I have no argument, Don Murph, uh, I don't wish you well in your business, and I know you do very well, but uh, as best as your game ball doesn't conflict with mine. <laughs> So based on that, my friend, uh, I think the New England Patriots uh, are savoring this one just for a minute uh, because they have an all important game with their season on the line, quite literally, folks. Right. Uh, with the uh, week 18 matchup in Orchard Park coming up against the <clears throat> Buffalo Bills. Before we take our leave today, bud, any parting thoughts, any more of your wisdom and counsel that you want to share with our adoring public? Um, no, not really. I just, just ride the wave. Enjoy this win. Uh, if you're like me, if you're like Mike, uh, beating the, the dolphins is always, is always a little bit more fun. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it always is, you know, as a kid that grew up in the seventies and the eighties, and I had to, to deal with, 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 uh, double dealing Don Shula and his crew down there and Dan Marino <laughs> for a long time. So no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this one until the keys are out on Friday. Don't miss them. Do not miss these keys, folks. You turn the keys, you go to the top. You don't turn the keys, you're never heard from again. Patriots are going to be turning these uh, because they're going to need every key they can possibly get to go up against a very, very strong Buffalo Bills team. But just remember, folks, Patriots are familiar with this team. And as long as you've got two fists and you got a heartbeat, you got a puncher's chance, as Rocky Balboa would say. So who knows? Maybe the Patriots can go up to Orchard Park and pull off the win. But we're going to continue to break down their Week 17 victory over the Dolphins, what it means for the future, and we're going to keep our sharp eyes both fixed on the Buffalo Bills coming up this weekend. But in the meantime, my friend, thank you very much for joining me today. As always, uh, what better way to kick off the year here on Locked On Patriots uh, than uh, to be joined by the Connor Murphy Fisto himself. Uh, before I let you go, my friend, please let everyone know where they can find you, where they can interact with you, and what you have coming on the horizon uh, from the great voice, the great pen of Thomas Murphy. Please check me out at Team Earth 207. You can read everything that I write over at E2GSports.com. I have some more Red Sox stuff and some uh, ALE stuff coming up this week. And uh, other than that, no, just on the Bird app. Stop in. Have fun. Absolutely. One of the best Twitter follows out there, folks. I follow him. You should be, too. Uh, great interaction. And uh, the occasional mob movie quote or uh, the, the occasional uh, Ferris Bueller.GIF file, you'll love it. I do, and we all do. But uh, all kidding aside, thank you for continuing to make Locked On Patriots the daily part of your New England Patriots coverage and also your first listen every day. Now that you've made us your first listen, make your second listen and maybe a New Year's resolution to check out our good friends over at Locked On sports today all the news you need every sport that you can imagine and they even give you the take of the day what more can you ask for locked on sports today is free and available on all platforms including the odyssey app on youtube and anywhere you get your podcasts and while you're at it subscribe to and follow locked on patriots wherever you get your audio podcasts and thank you to all of you who have smashed that subscribe button to youtube and get us over that 1000 subscriber mark hopefully on to more and we thank you for all of your support on behalf of the legendary thomas murphy the don murph himself i'm mike debate 
stay safe, stay well, be the change you wish to see in the world. Once again, folks, Happy New Year, and we'll see you tomorrow right here on Locked On Patriots. More born, more better, Maddie. More born, more better. <laughs>